Do you have education degree related to this business? Yes, I have qualifications and I have an uh, international business degree as well. Does money buy happiness? I believe that once you are healthy, money is a beautiful bonus, you know, and I enjoy going abroad and staying in a beautiful hotel. You are famous in Malta or in a global range. I have actually um, taught Angelina Jolie's children. Did you come from money or you made your own path? You are a self-made millionaire. Your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Um, I'm Julian Marmo, 55 years old, uh, managing director of an insurance company. Where are you from? From Malta. Okay. How long you are in that business? 30 years. Is it your own company? I'm a shareholder. How did you start with that company? Well, it's a uh, family-related ownership. I moved in as a third-generation employee. Is that a profitable business? Yes. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? Well, the profitability depends on the claims experience of a particular year, and the, it can vary depending on catastrophe events like floods, windstorms, hailstorms, and things like that, and large claims that might occur um, involving liability. Did you come from money or you made your own path? You are a self-made millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. I've uh, come from uh, reasonable uh, means and uh, mm -hmm. continue to grow that. For people in their early age, they want to start an insurance company. What advice you would give to them? My advice is starting an insurance company is not an easy thing to, to start. It's a heavily regulated business. Mm -hmm. It's a very capital intensive. Just starting out uh, from uh, sort of grassroots is uh, not, not a, an easy. Do you have education degree related to this business? Yes, I have qualifications and I have an uh, international business degree as well. How do you scale up your business in insurance industry? Because there are a lot of insurance companies and it is growing more and more. How do you stay in the same tank where there are a lot of sharks also like you? I don't consider myself to be a shark uh, in, in, in the negative sense, but mm -hmm. uh, we're there to provide value, to uh, build reputation, to build trust at the end of the day an insurance company is selling trust and it needs to be there um, when a client needs it in the event of a claim and I believe that that is something that is built over time and over experience of yourself and of the, cl the uh, client base how do you invest your wealth the wealth is invested uh, professionally in, in what uh, assets a variety of equity and fixed income. For people in our community, they want to learn individuals like you, the successful people. What financial advice and personal development advice you would give to them? Everybody is different. Everybody's risk appetite is different. <clears throat> but uh, my advice and my experience is doing things in a prudent way. Not to overstretch yourself, but at the same time, um, be open to opportunities. And once you've made a close assessment of things and you decide to go for it, it takes hard work, but it takes guts. Have you ever been broke before? No. Do you have kids right now? Now. I have kids, but they're grown up now. What financial advice you are giving to them or what education you are teaching to them that to be successful in the future like you? The advice to, the, to my kids is to... To seek happiness. Uh, wealth is not uh, the only source of happiness. I think mm -hmm. that's important to find uh, one part in life that is that gives you the satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Education is something that we've given a lot of importance to, to our kids, to um, because that is what they take with them. Wealth can come and it can go, but education stays. The idea is to find that path, to find that happiness and to, to pursue it. You are a boat owner also in this pontoon, yeah? Yes. So for how long you are owning a boat? For 15 years. What made you to choose a boat mm. and uh, making this lifestyle? Living in Malta, I think that uh, having a boat is a nice option. It's given us a lot of opportunities to enjoy a good quality family time and be together. From your perspective, what is the worst decision new entrepreneurs take and it makes them broke or going out of the business? The biggest failing is not looking at the downside mm -hmm. of an event. So in reality, you could have a situation where an opportunity looks really good, but considering if it doesn't go to plan, what is the negative impact and how will you cope with that? And thank you very much. Enjoy your time. Thank Glad you. to meet you. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Okay, I'm Maltese and I'm 60 years old. I'm from Malta, obviously. Your from name? Leah, Mariella. Okay, what do you do for a living, Mariella? I'm a psychotherapist. Psychotherapist, so I have yeah. a private practice and I also conduct research. My background is that I was part of a team starting out rehabilitation for drug addicts, drug people with substance abuse disorders and I worked there for approximately 20 years. Although I'm 60, I still have a dream. Can you share with us? <laughs> What's your dream? 
My dream is to have a private, small, caring respite home for people because in Malta right now, the, pub, the government uh, a mental health institution is closing down mm -hmm. and they want people to go into the community. However, we're quite overpopulated, so my dream is to be able to offer a service that is uh, not too expensive, not high class, but affordable for people to be able to have a place where they can go, where they can be assessed, where they can be calm and taken care of and then they can make a plan for their future and better living. And amazing and thank you very much for your service actually for helping people if they are in a drug addiction or any uh, yes. substances. We appreciate you, thank you very much. But uh, is it your own clinic right now? Yes, okay. it's my own uh, private clinic. Mm -hmm. Basically it's just some place uh, near where I live mm -hmm. and basically I help people with all various different types of problems. I empower them to learn how to help themselves. So that's what therapy is about, and I really uh, reinforce. So. Amazing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear from you. But what is the challenging part of being female entrepreneur and working with mostly with men, because male are suffering a lot with the drug addiction? What is the hardest part of your job or your business? In my clinic right now, people come to me not with addiction problems, with all types of problems. I have equal uh, number of male clients as much as women clients. I think men are understanding that they have an opportunity to go to a woman and the fact that I'm getting older is helping not making mm -hmm. it worse because there's a certain level of maturity and safety for them and men enjoy the fact that they can go sit down uh, just say everything and not be judged and not be conditioned and not worry if they're hurting someone or offending someone so both men and women benefit as a woman in this field in the caring field I'm also a very assertive person and I think there have been times when men have found that bit uncomfortable sometimes to deal with an assertive woman who is outspoken. So that is the hardest challenge I've always had to face. Have you ever been broke before? No. You all, you came from money or you made a self wealth No, no, no. I come from a middle class, hard working mm -hmm. uh, parents. Uh, my parents retired in their 80s. It's a culture. We come from a family of hard working. The money I have and that the money that I've made, both my husband and I work very hard for. Mm -hmm. It feels very good to know that you've earned uh, what you have. It gives you a sense of integrity and respect and uh, you feel good about it. You never give up. You keep working hard, but I like to play hard too. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. I like balance. <laughs> <laughs> good from you, yes. But being in your position, how much can we make per year? Well, it depends because you can earn up to a thousand euros a week mm -hmm. in a clinic. You can do that. Or you can earn 500 euros a week. It depends how much you want to work. It depends how much you side you're going to work. My research, which I find very invigorating and interesting, I earn much less, but I still do it because uh, um, it keeps me up to date. At this age, the older you get, you need to have enough money to be comfortable and enjoy life. But then it's not about money anymore. It's about getting satisfaction from what you do. Beside your own business, where do you diversify your wealth? Well, my husband has a business and my husband uh, invests continues to invest in his business. Mm -hmm. My wealth, I now want to invest it in this idea of mine. So my wealth, I want to, what I have saved, I want to invest in uh, this idea, this business plan of mine. So that will be going there. But I also want, I'm looking for an investor because at my age, I don't want to invest everything. So I want to invest my wealth into this new idea that I have. I also have some money in stocks where I get interest every month. So that is saved. I also have a pension plan for my children at the age where they're ending their first universities I would like them to do their masters abroad do you believe in the bank I hate the banks I find that they are benefiting from our money and now they're making life much 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 more difficult and stringent I understand that there have been a lot of complications in Malta however people like me we suffer unduly because if I have any money I've earned it and when I've worked hard for my money and I want to move it from A to B and the attitude of the people at the bank is, you know, like I'm doing something wrong or I'm doing something. Ill I don't appreciate that. It's my money. You're making money off my money. I'm not making money off your money. You're making money off my money. I'm getting very low interest. It's just in a safe place. And uh, I don't appreciate the approach. I don't have massive amounts. I have just enough. I mean, this boat we have. <laughs> 
<laughs> we bought with a, I bought my husband and I bought with a loan. We didn't just go and you know we work hard, we save, we make loans, we pay our loans, and this is the way we live. Unbelievable yeah. and amazing advice and great to hear from you. At the end, does money buy happiness? Money does not buy happiness, but I believe that once you are healthy, once you have relationships, once you're in healthy relationships and you're doing what you enjoy, money is a beautiful bonus, beautiful bonus. So I feel very satisfied that at this stage in my life, I can actually enjoy a weekend if our boat works because we're having problems. <laughs> a weekend on the boat that I worked for my husband worked for so yes it is lovely you know and I enjoy going abroad and staying in a beautiful hotel but I would not enjoy it if I was unhealthy if I was with a husband who I don't love if I am not happy with my family if I am not happy with work so it is an amalgamation of things that provides happiness thank you very much great advice we appreciate people like you and also thank you very much for your service you are helping for people out there <laughs> Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Nikki, I'm 51, and I'm from Malta. I'm Branko, 53, I'm from Serbia. Well done. So, how long you are living in Malta? Over 30 years. What do you do for a living? Well, I have a couple of businesses. In what industry? Construction, sports. Is it your background? You came from sports background or how? Yeah, I came from a sports background uh, in Serbia and uh, I continued here as well. How about you? I'm an artist. Is it profitable? Yes. You build up your clientele over the years. You mm -hmm. don't, it doesn't happen overnight. But yes, it has been very profitable and I'm very happy doing what I do. You are famous in Malta or in the global range? I'm I'm well known, mm -hmm. let's say that. We're not a very big country or island. Mm -hmm. However, you know, if you mention my name, I'm sure many people know who I am. My father's an artist too. I have actually um, taught Angelina Jolie's children wow. in Malta. Yeah. And uh, when they were filming film, Brad Pitt, and they were here mm -hmm. for the whole summer, and I gave them art lessons, which was a really great experience. That yeah. means you are a well known because Angelina Jolie coming here and her children, you are giving a lesson. It means you are also well known. Can you shout out your name and surname again for our community? Yes, it's uh, Nikki Sultana as an artist, but as my married surname, it's Nikki Radojevic. Being in your position as an artist, how much can we make per year? It varies. <laughs> it's good. You can disclose a range. In what range you are? <laughs> seven, eight figures or nine? I prefer not to disclose this no, kind of information. Definitely. No. no problem at all. And for people, in their 20s they want to start a business like you in a construction or sport industry what advice you would give to them well i can only speak for myself and uh, obviously as we say not one size fit all so mm -hmm. one has to find its own size i would say uh, in my case was uh, uh, first of all a belief in god i think i find for younger generation very difficult to comprehend that but uh, believing god is i think it's a starting point and then from there you uh, find where your passion is because sometimes passion can uh, be more valuable than your intelligence follow your passion follow what you enjoy whether it is uh, uh, building a boat whether it is uh, driving a boat whether it is cleaning a window follow your passion and i think money will follow never never ever chase the money because you will never get the money it will always run away from you but make sure the money chases you well nice advice and being faithful to the god what you achieved or how you saw that there is a path you have to follow and you have to believe in god that helped you in what sense i believe in god i believe i thank him for everything that i have uh, been uh, thank him for every opportunity your believe in god is also not a very simple thing you have to work on it like you work on anything else work discipline is is, is very important whether it is god whether it is work whether it is your relation with your family and uh, things will come before getting married together and you were always having a business or after getting married you started your business? No, no, no. I came to Malta knowing how to say good morning and Coca-Cola. <laughs> and from there you believe in your God, you work on it and, and you know, things then happen. Well, how about you? What do you think like being in a relationship with a successful person? You know that even though he's coming with no money, how supportive you are with your partner, with your life partner and business partner also? 
That was the thing that um, attracted me the most, that he, he had this great attitude towards life, you know, and he was a hard worker. He used to work, you know, and I was very generous, very kind, very, very determined mm -hmm. also. So that, those were the main points. And money is really, when you're 20 and you meet somebody you see a future with, you build it together. Money is nothing at that time in your life. We work hard and you create something for yourselves, for your family, and thankfully... It's worked. Great advice. Some women, they don't want to be in a process. They want to have the end result with their partner's <laughs> success. And what do you think about it? It's their part and it's their journey. And, you know, it's good luck to them. But I look back and say it was hard and it's more satisfying knowing that you've worked so hard to yeah. achieve where you are today. It's, it's a process, yeah. It's a process. You have to feel hunger to know when you need to eat, you you have to go through the process of being broke. You have to be in the process of uh, not knowing what you're going to do tomorrow. It's, it's, it's only, uh, you know. But again, going back to my first um, sentence, and if you believe, and especially if you believe in God, things happen. Well, nice. And at the end, some people in their early 20s, they are lost. They want to start from somewhere else, but they are wasting their time, maybe because of procrastination or because of like self-belief, lacking. And what advice you would give to them? Let me tell you, the most interesting people don't know what they're going to do in their 40s. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I would be uh, very concerned if somebody knows what he's going to do when they're 20. And I think it's very normal not to know what yeah. to do when you're 20, when you're 24, 5, it's very normal. But it doesn't mean that you stop doing things, you know. It's fine not knowing, but, you know, uh, there are two things you can, about uh, when you're faced with the situation, there are two things you can do something about and you can sit down and do nothing about it. I would always choose to do something about it. Even though if I'm wrong, I do it, I learn from it, and I keep on doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. Well, nice advice. And at the end, I want to ask from you, happy wife, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom? I say both. It's very sub subjective, I would say, yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Enjoy your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck. You. Well, that's it from me today. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode. Don't forget, today's video sponsor is only you and always you. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.